Listening one. Listen and write the missing information. I'm Jack. I'm ten. I've got blue eyes. I'm clever and friendly. I'm Sally. I'm thirteen. I've got long hair. I'm quiet and sporty. I'm Jack's mum. I'm forty-one. I've got fair hair. I'm clever and lively. I'm Jack's dad. I'm forty-six. I've got brown eyes. I'm sporty and funny. Listening two, sing. <laughs> Listening three. Listen and repeat. One. Spanish. Two. Sandwich. Three. Salad. Four. Club. Five. Lunch. Six. Loves. Listening four. Listen and repeat the tongue twister. Alfie loves Spanish and cookery club. He sometimes has a sandwich or a salad for lunch. Alfie loves Spanish and cookery club. He sometimes has a sandwich or a salad for lunch. Alfie loves Spanish and cookery club. He sometimes has a sandwich or a salad for lunch. Listening five, read and listen. When has Jack got Spanish? Dear diary, my first day at my new school. I've got two new friends, Alfie and Lisa. They always walk to school past my house in the morning, so I can walk with them every day. I've got my new timetable. Registration is at nine o'clock. Then I've always got maths or English in the morning. We've sometimes got break at ten o'clock, and sometimes at half past ten. Every day, we do different things in the afternoons.
We've got Spanish on Mondays, ICT on Tuesdays, and geography on Wednesdays. We've got assembly on different days, but never on Fridays. There are clubs after school. Alfie and Lisa usually go to craft club, and Lisa sometimes goes to cookery club. Listening six, listen and repeat. One. Go swimming. Two. Go diving. Three. Do gymnastics. Four. Go trampolining. Five. Go climbing. Six. Do archery. Seven. Go abseiling. Eight. Play badminton. Nine. Play hockey. Ten. Play table tennis. Listening seven. Listen and say. Number one. I like playing outdoors. I play hockey on Tuesdays. Nine. Number two. My friends like playing table tennis. Ten. Number three. I like indoor games. I play badminton with Alfie. Eight. Number four. My brother doesn't like games. He does archery. Six. Number five. I go swimming on Fridays. One. Number six. My granny likes watching gymnastics on TV. She doesn't do gymnastics. Three. Number seven. Trampolining is a lot of fun. Alfie's got a trampoline in his garden. Four. Number eight. I go climbing at the weekends. In the winter, I go climbing indoors. Five. Number nine. I like going diving, but I'm not very good at it. Two. Number ten. My sister likes going abseiling. She doesn't get scared. Seven. Listening eight. Read and listen. Why is Jack thinking about a gym party? Hi, Alfie. How are you? Good. What are you doing? I'm choosing my birthday party. There are four different kinds. I can't decide. My favourite activities are swimming, trampolining, and hockey. I go swimming every week, and I play hockey at school with you. I don't go trampolining often, so I'm thinking about a gym party. What do you think? Here's a photo from my birthday party. We're playing badminton. You're wearing your birthday badge. See you soon. Listening nine. Listen and write the days of the week. Listen again and complete. Number one. Look, she's playing table tennis.
She usually plays table tennis on Thursdays. Number two. She's going swimming in this picture. She sometimes goes swimming on Mondays. Number three. She's doing gymnastics now. She always does gymnastics on Saturdays. Listening ten. Read and listen. What sports are Jack and Lewis messaging about? Where does Jack play rounders? Hi, Lewis. How are you? I'm very tired. Look at my photo and see why. Oh wow! What game is that? It's called rounders. It's a bat and ball game. How do you play? One person throws the ball. The person opposite has got a bat, and hits the ball and runs. How often do you play rounders? I play twice a week at school. What sports are popular in South Africa? Football and rugby are very popular here. I like a game called football board. We play it with a little ball, a board, and two goals. That sounds fun. What's your favourite sport? I play wheelchair basketball. I love it. How often do you play? I train twice a week at the sports centre, and then we play games with other teams every Saturday. Check out this great website about keeping fit and healthy. Listening eleven, listen to the dialogue. Language in action, talking about routines. How often do you play football? I train once a week and I play for a team on Saturdays. How often do you play football? I play football every Sunday. Listening twelve, read and listen. What parts of our body is exercise good for? Why is exercise good for us? A lot of things happen to our body when we do exercise and sports. Exercise is good for every part of the body, especially the heart and lungs. We breathe all the time. We breathe in oxygen. And we breathe out carbon dioxide. Our lungs take oxygen from the air and pass it to our blood. The blood then carries the oxygen around our body. Oxygen helps our body to get energy from food. Adults breathe about eighteen times per minute. Or about twenty-five thousand times per day. When we do exercise, we breathe faster. Our heart beats about a hundred thousand times per day, but it never gets tired. It moves the blood around our body. When we do exercise, our heart beats faster to move extra oxygen to our body. It's important to do exercise to keep the heart and lungs healthy. Try to be active for at least thirty minutes every day. An hour per day is even better. Listening thirteen, read and listen. Find the words in the story.
Mad about football. Vicky is mad about football. Her favourite team is Oxford United. She plays football every day, trains twice a week, and plays for a team on Saturdays. She goes to football matches, and she collects football cards. Have you got Fabregas? Uh, oh, yes, I have. <laughs> But today, Vicky is sad. It's her birthday, but her parents don't say happy birthday, and there aren't any cards or presents. Good morning, Vicky. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Vicky goes to school. She plays football at break, and every day at lunchtime. But today she doesn't want to play football. Vicky, why are you sad? Because it's my birthday, and I haven't got any cards. Vicky comes home from school. She plays football in the garden every day after school, but today she doesn't want to play football. Hi, Vicky. What are you doing? I'm reading my book. <sighs> That evening, Vicky's parents decide to go for a walk. Put your hat and scarf on, Vicky. Why? Because it's very cold. But Vicky gets a big surprise because they walk to the football stadium. Her friends are there. They've got cards and presents. Happy birthday, Vicky! <laughs> Vicky's favourite player gives her a signed football shirt. She's very happy. <sighs> happy birthday, Vicky! <gasps> wow! Thank you. <laughs> Vicky's team wins five nil. It's her best birthday ever. Listening fourteen. Listen to Jack and his friends. What do you think about the story? What a great story! I love comic book stories. I like the surprise. I agree. I like the happy ending. I disagree. I don't like comic book stories. Listening fifteen. Listen and number the pictures. Number one, Vicky's team wins five nil. It's her best birthday ever. Thanks, Mum and Dad. <laughs> number two. That evening, Vicky's parents decide to go for a walk. Put your hat and scarf on, Vicky. Why? Because it's very cold. Number three. Vicky goes to school. She plays football at break, and every day at lunchtime. 
But today, she doesn't want to play football. Vicky, why are you sad? Because it's my birthday and I haven't got any cards. Listening 16. Sing. Some people go climbing once a week with a friend. Other people go out sailing at the weekend. Some people play hockey every now and then. Other people do gymnastics every Friday. Listening 17. Listen and repeat. 1. Ice cream. 2. Eat. 3. Treat. 4. In. 5. Hill. 6. River. Listening 18. Listen and repeat the tongue twister. Pete eats his treat in the mill on the hill, and Millie eats her ice cream in a park by the river. Pete eats his treat in the mill on the hill, and Millie eats her ice cream in a park by the river. Pete eats his treat in the mill on the hill, and Millie eats her ice cream in a park by the river. Listening 19. Listen to Jack and his friends. Which three activities do they mention? Hey, do you want to see some photos from my party? Yes, let's see. You're playing badminton. Uh, isn't that Alfie's party? Oh, yes it is. Sorry. Here are the photos of my party. Is that your sister? Yes, she's doing gymnastics. She's really good. Yeah, she trains every Saturday. Oh, who's that? I can only see some feet. <laughs> That's Alfie. He's trampolining. He's jumping very high in that picture. And that's you, Jack. You're very red. Why are you hot? Because I'm trampolining. It's good exercise. Oh, that's me. I'm really happy because I've got a big piece of birthday cake. That's it, I think. When's your birthday, Lisa? It's next month. I want to have a party at my house. Cool. 
Listening 20. Listen and draw lines. There is one example. Look, there are lots of children at the sports centre. They're playing different sports. Look, there's Daisy. She usually plays basketball. But today, she's playing tennis. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Fred is playing badminton. He's wearing a red T-shirt. Vicky sometimes goes swimming. But today, she's climbing. She's wearing a yellow T-shirt. Can you see John? He's playing tennis. Look, that's Mary. She usually plays hockey, but today she's playing badminton. Jane is wearing a red T-shirt. She's doing gymnastics. Paul usually plays tennis. But today, he's climbing. Listening 21. Listen to Jack and his friends. Which four activities do they mention? Hi, Alfie. Are you doing your project? Yes, I am. I'm writing about Max Whitlock. Oh! Isn't he an Olympic gymnast? Yes, he is. And he's a world champion. He trains for 36 hours a week. He goes to the gym six times a week. And he goes running once a week. Gymnastics is really good for you because it uses lots of different parts of your body. Who are you writing about, Lisa? I'm writing about Sasha de Julian. Who's she? She's a famous young climber from the USA. She wins climbing competitions and climbs mountains. That's interesting. How does she train? Well, when she isn't climbing, she goes to the gym six times a week. She's very strong, but she's only 1.57 metres tall. I'm writing about Paul Gasol. The famous basketball player. He's 2.15 metres tall. Wow, that is tall. Does he train a lot? Yes, he often trains twice a day. Listening 22. Read Jack's article. Listen and find three mistakes. Paul Gasol a Spanish player in the USA, by Jack. Pau is a famous Spanish basketball player. He comes from Madrid. He's 2.13 metres tall and weighs 114 kilograms. Pau plays in the USA. Pau's team plays matches during the week and at the weekend. Pau has got a brother, Mark, who also plays basketball in the USA. Both Pau and Mark play basketball for the Spanish team too. In this photo, Pau is playing for Spain in the Olympics. Spain is winning. Pau usually trains twice a day. He goes to the gym in the morning and he goes to the gym in the afternoon. He likes other sports too, especially tennis and football.